Hey guys, and welcome to Brick Talk TV Live. Uh, Terry here. It's uh, Mothering Sunday here in uh, the UK, so uh, happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Um, today I'm finishing off my first week at Lego with this build. So we're doing the uh, Spring Lantern Festival uh, build, which will be uh, cool. Uh, hopefully we'll crack it open in a second. I'm going to be streaming for a couple of hours today, so we'll see how far we get uh, with the build. It's got nearly 2,000 pieces, so um, we might get it all done or we might not. If we don't get it done, we'll do a second uh, stream next weekend as well, just to finish it off. Uh, the following weekend after that, we've got another stream planned to do the vintage car and the ice rink. And I've just purchased the Super Nintendo, uh, sorry, the uh, Nintendo Entertainment System set as well. And we'll do a live stream of that build, followed by the ship in the bottle as well. Um, which has been reissued so we've got a few streams coming up over the next month to six weeks time period so watch out for those to be added to the channel and of course on friday we put up the review of the empire state building so if you've not had a chance to check that out do check that out um so yeah back to today we're going to be building uh this spring lantern festival set i did try to get this in january when it was released but um i think i bought the police station instead so i skipped buying this at the time and um that was probably a bit foolish because it seems to be out of stock since then but I was lucky enough to pick this up or back order it start of February it turned up towards the end of February so now we've got it ready to build so let's crack open and see what we've got inside the box for today I think there is a a light brick in here as well welcome to everybody that's on the stream and hello but let's start with opening the box so how many bags we've got in here to start with. I've managed to cut myself already. Why are these boxes so sharp on it? So, as I said, there's 1,793 pieces to this set, so there's gonna be a few bags. I'm hoping to stick this inside Bricktown as well when it's built. This is generally how I start all my builds, by getting all of the bags out first and then putting them back in the box uh, with the highest number at the bottom of the box so I can just reach into the box and grab as I need. Watch out for the cracker on the mock room. So there's the, there's the instruction book. Seems to be a few, hmm, I'd say they're like stickers, stickers or some something in there. We'll, I'll get to that in a sec. Standard base plate and a slightly smaller one, so it's going to be uh, covering that that kind of surface area there. We just finished the uh, Garden City as well, which was a fun build. Right, so we seem to have about eleven bags by the look of it. I think eleven seems to be the highest. So let me just put these highest bags back in the box 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 Three. And we'll, I'll leave two and one out. Take this instruction book, and then I'll flip us over to the build mode. Nothing like the smell of a new instruction manual, fresh out of the packet. So these are the. Uh, I don't think they're stickers. They're kind of rubbery elements but I'll show you those in more detail in a second. What's this? Oh. The instructions on the light brick by the look of it. I've not had that before when I've had light bricks inside sets. And then there's uh, two booklets. So let me just flip over to the zoom build mode. <laughs> At these booklets we've got this. I didn't get that. We've got this not let Siri talk to us. We've got two books here. 
that we're going to work through. So I put the second book to the side. And then these are the sticker, not quite stickers, kind of like rubbery things, which I guess are going to hang. Yeah, they hang down by the look of the picture on the front of the park. So, looks like, let's get this in. So the first bag is very much building the foundations of the park. The second one is going to add some more detail and level to it. Third one, you're adding kind of a lake or the pond into it. And then by the fourth one, we get to start building some detail, such as the ball, which I believe lights up. Then you start building some of the bridges through to the foliage. So there's going to be quite a few bits to get through. And then that's the end of the first bag. So we should have the first half of the, or two thirds of the park complete. So let me just make some room. This looks a bit like a, uh, a modular build to start us off with. We've got to start with the 32 by 32 base plate. Make sure I get enough room so you can see what's going on. Let's open bag one. We have got a mini figure here as well, which looks like a, a, a man eating a bowl of rice, perhaps? All of something. There is a, a little printed round tile. Maybe it's even ice cream. I don't know if you can see that in great detail. But that's what's inside the bowl we're going to build. So, that's mini figure up and run in. It's like he's got his mouth full on his printed face. Make sure that these pieces don't roll away. And then we need a bowl and a spoon. So the bowl goes interesting that the uh, it doesn't stick inside the bowl. This printed tart just rests inside the bowl which could be a little tricky if he drops it. Need to get it low enough so he doesn't drop it. And then he's holding a spoon in the other hand. So there's the first mini figure in the set. Just stick it to the side. And we'll start with the the curbs. So 10 one by six tiles. Three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then we've got a two by two L tie in the corner. So let's start with that. I've been looking forward to buying this, as I said, since January. So I'm pleased it's finally turned up. I'm hoping to incorporate it into a new table which I'm adding to the city which will include the police station I think and the Lego store mock based on Leicester Square's store if you've not seen either of those um, the police station review is coming up shortly I've filmed it I've just not put it live yet and then the, um, uh, the Lego store mock I released a couple of weeks ago so check it out on the channel if you've not seen that so you can see what's that looks like. I need 11 paving stones, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Two of those, three 1x2s and some drain covers. This feels very much like a, a modular build to start us off, so put, putting the paving stones and the curbs in. So I like the fact they've made this a bit more like a modular set. This is actually the first Chinese New Year set that I've purchased. I've not managed to get any of the others yet to date. Train covering. And another three tiles. And then we'll do another drain. And then a 
nice colour arch. I'll squeeze over a bit so you can see. Just finishes with some uh, further paving stones. So we've got these kind of hard to see on the camera probably because it's the same colour as the base plate. But we've got some tiles in there. And then we're going to build a bit more of the path out. Three one by eight plates, one one by three, and a couple of one by twos. Oh, first drops piece of the day. Wow, but let's add a bit more depth to the pavement. I don't think the pavement is as deep as a modular pavement. If this is as deep as it goes, you normally have a bit more depth on a modular. So I think a couple of people have modified this online. Try to make it more fitting with modulars, so we may need to do that afterwards, but build it as it is to start with. Then we need four more paving stones to do the other side. So I'm also busy ballasting lots of train tracks to start the theme park off, which I've been meaning to do for ages. So watch out some, for some videos on the channel about the build of the theme park. I'm looking forward to doing. Right, so we started to build the path around this side now. Then we're going to use these gold bullion kind of pieces seven of those so two four six seven of those and four one by ones in rounds which are gonna do something don't know what yet I believe this set was designed by Justin Ramsden, who's the same part of the team that brought us the Harry Potter Hogwarts set, which I still love to this day. It was a great build, and if you, when if you haven't purchased it and you're also uncertain about getting it because of the micro scale, I would encourage you to to not worry about that and just buy it. I was apprehensive about the scale a bit, but one of the best sets I've built, I think. And I've done a review on the channel if you're interested to get more detail of what's in the Hogwarts set. So three more paving stones. A couple of those. Right, so we've just got to finish off this part of the path here, which is a bit difficult to do when the manual is trying to close on me. One by three tiles, it's going across there. End off with that one. One by two there. And three paving stones. Fill up this before we put a drain cover in. Like that. So that's that's the paving now, I think completed around the around the park now we've got to build up um, the park itself because I think it's on a slightly different height it's probably also a good technique to learn to build parks with I did want to build a park at some point for the town I think maybe this will just take that take the space but I did want to elevate the park off to allow to put a pond in the middle that was going to be lower so I think this is probably going to be a similar technique hopefully all right so got those built that side I want four two by threes like those. two one by fours for these technic pin one by twos three two by two L shapes and one by one rounds and then we want to build up this side this time so start with two by three Uh, technique with a with a round piece in 
what the round pieces are for it's unusual two by three there L shaped four technic pin there another four That and that like that and that one like that. Ta -da. So that's that side built up. We need two of these two by sixes, one two by three, L shaped, three technic one by twos, and a couple of round ones. And this time, I'm going to build this back section up here so that we're at the same height. So two by six goes in. And it's a one by two technique with a round. Interestingly, there's one technique on the inside there as well. So maybe something's going to connect into that. We shall see. Uh, oh, to get any of these, we need three two by L, two L's, which I forgot. So one of those L shape goes in there to Technic Brick. Cover that up like that. One by one. And that. There we go. So now we've filled in the back section. We've got a little gap there still, which is what the instructions say to do. So I guess we're going to fill in a bit of this side next. So another one of those. Two of those, two of those, and two of these. And then we've got a couple of spares here, which are the bowl, the spoon, and the rice, or I'm not sure if it's rice or ice cream, uh, or dumplings or something like that. Guys, that we do at the start, but I'll put them to the side. Let's finish this off before we open bag two. So two by six. 2x3, two 2x3 by three. Two by three on this side. Finish with an L shape. And then a 1x1. One one. Oh, the 1x1 one one rounds are off. One by one round on there. Seems to be a bit of an entrance opening up over this side. And that's the first bag. Then in bag two, we're going to start building up a bit more support around here. And I think the bottom of the lake or the water area is going to start forming around this side. And it looks like that's done in sort of a dark green color, probably similar to uh, the uh, Ninjago city. So you've got a, a dark color underneath on top of, with transparent pieces on top to give an illusion of depth. So that's going to be interesting. Let's open bag two up. So there's a lady to build first off. So she's got white legs with an orange jacket and a white blouse. And she is holding, well, she's got black hair and she's holding a iPhone or some sort of tablet phone. And she's got a smiley face with some black hair. So that's the Next mini fig in bag two. Let's put her to the side. And then let's have a look what we do first. So first we're going to work up in this corner and it looks like it's going to be some of the colouring used underneath the water that's going to appear. So we start with some 1x4 dark greens, wedge piece in dark green. Three wedge pieces in a sand tan colour. And then a 2x3 in the sand colour. So let's put these down. 2x3. Wedge pieces. Like that. And 
two by four. One more set of wedges coming down here. See that starting to form there, some coloration. Then we want a slightly bigger wedge. Tan wedge, flower piece, one by four again. Two one by twos in dark green. Dark green wedge. Sure I'm facing the right way. So building a bit more of this area out here now. So uh, first up we have the tan piece goes in there. Let's get the I tend to get wedges the wrong way around. So that one goes in there. That one like that. Large one there, and then two there, two there, and this flower piece here to give like a lily impression there. So, step 13 another sand coloured kind of wedge, dark green, larger wedge. Flower pieces one by two, and then we've got to build this coloration section here. So, let's start with a large tan and a large dark green piece. Now, it fills uh, this gap up here one by two, another green wedge in there. Tanned piece, and then let me get this filled with a flower or lily kind of piece, like that. Now we're coming filling in this section with the next one. So we've got three of these large green wedges. Try and scoot over a bit so you can see the bits. Two by three, and a two by three in tan. That and that one goes like that. And that little bit goes like that. So you can see this little dark green building out now under there. So step 15, we've got more wedges. This is very much a wedge. Bag, I think. We've got three white one by twos this time. Two large dark green pieces. One tan piece. Three little green flower pieces, and one one by two in dark green. I think that's it. So as we come down here, building out this. Sandy appearance here. A bit more dark green. Flower piece. One more two there. flower piece here and then we've got a couple of the white pieces just coming into this edge area here as you can see there so a couple of these pieces I don't know what the name is for this piece what people term this has but we've got one of those if you know what it's called stick it in the chat would be helpful to know probably heard it before but I can't recall it. Large tan wedges going on here. A couple of 
which piece in Santana? Need a green one. And I think that's all the pieces for this one. So. piece I don't know the name for goes in there Ooh, I missed a I've got three flower pieces section I'm gonna presume because I can't see it that a flower piece needs to go in there one goes there This, this green flower piece here doesn't I can't see it on the instructions but I'm guessing that is where it needs to go maybe the instructions can be a little bit better there to make it clearer but otherwise there'd be a gap there and there's supposed to be no no there isn't there's supposed to be two flower pieces so I'm gonna take it off actually I can always add it back in afterwards when this happens that's it there we come I'm going to put it back in if I need to right step 17 some funky colours now which I guess are going to be hidden right, two of those one of those one of those and we need one of these around so now we're going to build this raised section out here so this is obviously the the lake area and then this is supposed to be some sort of path or something that's the same level as the rest of the park using like that right yellow and pink which i guess will be hidden Okay. Oh, my mini figure has just fallen over with this bowl of food because I've been too heavy handed. Put that back. Uh, we've got one of these round pieces, two red pieces, a yellow piece, and a bright uh, coral coloured tile. Now we're moving over into this space. I think this is where the ball is ultimately going to end up standing. four goes in the sort of doorway area here and then this there's a row here which has been filled in by all of these colours that we just picked up so I'm guessing these won't be seen once this thing is built so they're just adding some foundational capacity and then we've got three lime green two by twos which needs to be covered up by a two by two I think these are uh, azure mid azure colour tiles and we've got them slap bang in the middle there this one there and then we there's two out there like that so we've got this coming across here We'll do some more of those. So we've got another one of these weird shapes, another lime colour and uh, 
mid-azure colour. Uh, this time though, we're rotating slightly and in this top corner here, that's where it's going to go. Like that, like that. Then we need two two by sixes and one two by three, and we're rotating again. This time we're filling in this space with those bricks like that. This all solid now. Then staying in this. Uh, orientation we've got a couple of flowers a white one by two sand wedge and a dark green wedge so building this sort of pond out again sand in the corner flower there and that that one there where I took the flower out is supposed to be empty so I did right to take that out because I can see it clearly on this part of the picture and a flower right in the corner fingers are too fat Ugh, did it and then a one but two white there so this lake is coming around here or pond whatever you want to call it then we need another wedge one by two two one by fours and these long pieces and another wedge the other way and then the lake is going to come across here so out black color there to make it look like it's really deep there I guess like that so that comes around around to there step 25 more dark green wedges and a flower piece so then we're building this area out here so it's one of those there Power piece there, wedge piece goes there, and another one there. So I've made this a little, a little thicker this time around this side. Anyway, more wedges. Just to connect this section up a bit more here, and one more flower. Put that there. One of those. It's a bit harder to see this time. Now in the middle, like that. You can see this is all building out here now. more to go I think. A couple more flowers. And we're just gonna sort of fill in this sort of section down here I think. And then we're gonna be nearly done I think for the under part of the the lake or the pond, whatever you want to call it. And then one more flower piece there. Right, so that's it there. A couple of bright coloured tiles and three of these just to finish off this part here on the line. Like that. It's a right odd looking area here at the moment, but I'm guessing this isn't being covered up. And then last couple of parts here for this bag. And it's over here. So we can wear those. Like that. So there's the foundation for that. And that's the end of bag two. So bag three. Looks like it's pretty much. There's a couple of bags for bag three. Look at it. Uh, it looks like it's going to be water mainly, so we're going to be covering all of this section up.
this is this is cool because there's a couple of actual um, transparent pieces with uh, fish printed on them there, koi carp or something. You can see, so that's going to look quite good. It's the first time I've seen that. We get some wildlife in the in the lake. So, just try and scoot a bit more space over here. Right, so bag three then. One by six, one by four, two by three. Three of these lime green two by twos, L shaped and a flower piece. Still with this orientation from the previous. One, we'll put some of these lime green pieces in first. So layering up some of the tiles we've already put on here. Like that. So we need another one of one one by four. Two transparency blue one by ones plates, one flower piece, and then we need 19 plain looking water tiles. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, and eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 17, 18, 19. So let's double check. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 19. Right. So we're going to build out the water section over here by the look of it. Let's just put a couple of these one by one transparent pieces in first. And from there, there's going to be a solid line of these tiles. in here like that cross with these concentrations on these tile pieces those are the different directions that they have to go in right so there we go so we filled the, start to fill the water up here the lime green piece four one by one plates and transparent this time, two flower pieces, uh, a one one by four and 14 water parts, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Right, so there are two flower pieces, one goes at the end here. And just get my bearings, so one of those there.
してまずいね返してね and then we finish off like that so I'm building out a bit more of the water got one by six two by three a couple of long green L shapes three flowers and then six six water pieces and start there oh, piece goes there flower piece flower piece Three of these one by one transparents, then we need 21 normal tiles without any fish on. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen, sixteen. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-one. One extra one. Right. Now we're going to build the water a bit more over in this direction. mistake and it looks like two straight rows here of tiles is flowing this way now we're going to get two of the two of the fish pieces slightly different uh, designs actually one is more of a you can see it more like a ooh, more like a goldfish and one is more like a koi carp so there is some slight differences which is nice right how many those Three plant pieces, one by six, one by two in white, and eleven plain tiles. So two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. Eleven, and then the green piece goes in over here. Piece. Another 
to end a flower. Three here, and then we've got our first fish to our limb. It looks like the fish is trying to eat the plant. Another two there, and then the fish fish is going in the opposite direction. Look at that, look at that. You can see the, see the fish trying to eat the water. What a great, uh, great little touch that is to have the fish on the tiles. And we've got one by six, one flower piece. Two plates, which are transparent, and then we've got some more fish. So this time we need uh, two sort of goldfish looking ones and one koi carp kind of looking one. Eleven plain tiles, so two, four, six, eight, ten, two, four, six. Four, six, eight, ten, eleven. Eleven transparent pieces. So we've got appears to be a bit of a fight. In the lake around these fishes i did an extra two more fish around the existing fish that was already there looks like they're swirling round together piece there so you can see the fish going around the circles here and then some more there detail so there we one more which I can't see I need one more plant piece in the bag maybe I was overzealous with the Plant pieces, but I seem to be missing a plant piece. Hmm. I've probably got some spare somewhere, but, so we'll carry on. But there should be an extra flower piece here, but they have not got one. It's either me losing it or it's not in the set. So we do seven, two, seven uh, water things. So we've got two, four, six. Seven, a goldfish looking one and then a transparent one and then we should have a plant one but we don't which is a baffling thing maybe we'll get a spare in a second we'll leave it empty for now um, and then so that would be there Goldfish in there. Like that. And I'm guessing we're near the end of this one, yeah. So then we need two of these lime green ones, two transparent ones, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
nine. And I have a spare one by one here, and I wonder if I'll check in a second if I put the maybe I put a wrong transparent piece in when I put a flower piece in, so maybe I can figure out where my lost flower piece is. But let's do this first. filled in the water here so let's just have a look plant there 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 I've got plants in the right place but look at it I'm just missing that piece which is odd I've got a spare transparent piece so let's see if we can find that in the next bag maybe I can stick this piece here should have a flower. So I'll show it to you closely on the camera. This piece here should have one of these lily pieces missing, but that's kind of where we are. See all the fish swimming around. So in the next section, looks like we're starting to build a bit of the, the ball up, um, which is going to appear over in this section. And we build sort of the grass, cover up some of these pieces. And we've got another uh, mini figure to create as well, which looks like a drinking a drink of some description so let's get bag four out so there's two bags for bag uh, sets four this one and there is there are some flower pieces in here so I'm going to nick that for now stick that in there before I forget where it goes hopefully at some point we will make up the missing flower piece and the guy's fallen over his bowl again Ugh, stay there So there's going to be two mini figures in this one uh, with matching tops on but to start off we're going to build the guy got 2021 with a bull on his sort of um, hooded top there that's the lady this is the guy's face only printed on the on the front not on the back as well that's the lady's hair. Perhaps he's got the wrong legs. That's the lady's legs. Uh, man has got these bright blue ones on. And that's his hair. Let's quickly make his drink. So that's the guy. That's the uh, only one they've, the instructions have told us to make. Yeah. Oh, and there we go. And then it's, you make the the girl. She has a selfie stick. Why not? Because she's celebrating. So, we're looking for a rod piece. Which I can't see. Mark for the clip and a hinge and a telephone tile. It's probably right in front of me. But I can't see it. There should be a Hole, a rod piece 
that she's using to hold the um, selfie stick. You can see there's another bag. seem to be in there but this is what we've got so far maybe I'll find it when I start taking uh, building it and you've got a selfie stick here which I haven't got the stick for yet I hope it's not another missing piece it's a couple of them I could have but let's plow on so squeeze this up a bit so I can so we've got one of these long pieces one of those a couple of flower pieces and then we're going to start using some dark tan now. So we've got a wedge, and a one by two dark tan, and let's start. So first off, the white piece goes across here. Our piece goes in there. Another flower piece there. So that's the first stage of this bag. One of those pieces and one of those pieces. And two one by two and dark tan pieces this time. A little bit more of the edging here. Same pieces again there. A bit more foliage pieces. Or two and then curved piece, curved piece, and then we're going to go around this way this time at the top. So put that in there. Some foliage hanging out. Sure, coming around this way. That rod is missing. I can't see it yet. Two wedge pieces in dark tan, uh, facing in opposite directions, and a foliage piece. So that's coming down this side this time. Like that. So more coming around here and then two of these pieces it does say another flower piece I think because I've stolen the, uh, the flower piece from this bag to replace the last bag I'm gonna be short again I've given you many spares in this set so far a shame. The one time I need some spares and they haven't given me any. Uh, so we'll continue around here. So I'm sure it's going to come around here. Mm, this one out there. Then there should be a flower here. But we need to miss that out for a second. Maybe we'll put one in the next bag. Build that round like that. A couple of these long plates and one of these one by three. So then we go across here. across right across this wall on the edge then we'll start building out some 
uh, grass covers by the look of it. So I want a large wedge in this piece. A one by sixes and a one by three. Building some grass out here now. Just like that. Is that right? Not quite right. Hang on. Needs to go further out. Ooh. level with this end piece. World green wedge, a couple of two by fours in green. And just building this grass section out here as well. Just like that. Two by four, the one by threes and the lime green. One of these. And use up that. Use up that and that. In the large wedge piece. Yeah, look, found the rod stuck inside this wedge piece. So I can finish off the selfie stick. So, finish it with the selfie stick now. That's good. Glad I found that. But we're still one flower piece. Still looking for one more flower piece. Uh, so, where did I get up to? We need to come and do this side here. Seems to be like this, and then we finish this corner off. Get some nice layers going on here to make it look like the um, the pond is lower. Two wedge pieces. Two by fours and one by six. One by six here. Three. All this grass coming around here now. But there's more to go. those pieces out here got just under an hour left of this stream so we'll we'll see how far we get I'm guessing that we probably will need a second episode to finish it off so I'll probably do that either during the week or for next Sunday just keep an eye out for that if you're wanting to see the end of this We shall see how we go. So just putting the grass now around where the ball's going to go. I think the ball's going to sit centre over here. Look, 
two elements are here. More wedges and a six. So six goes across here. Get more glass out. Four of these slopey type pieces, which are going to go on top of those rocks we just have put down. The built the ball construction. So look, this hinge joint, a couple of these pieces. confusing things. Alright, oh, that's great. I had it right. The optical illusion was tricking me to think there was a sloped wedge piece at the back, but there wasn't so at the front. Kind of building this piece up here. Then goes in this far corner here, I believe. And a slight piece going up here with a piece with a clip on. more slope pieces and all of these long green pieces and let's double up. Okay there and yeah. there's just kind of what we've got in the corner now. So we've got this slope piece up here in this little construction we did a minute ago we're gonna clip something in there I think and then you can see there's a couple of rocks stuck around and all the grass areas are on top now. So now I think we're going to turn our attention towards the ball. So we've got this purple lavender piece. Stick this piece in here. At least I'm guessing this is where the ball goes. I don't know the ball's going to go on from it. Dive and tells you what it should look like. So we're going to that, I think. And then that's going to sit. four of these pieces which are the ones anyone who's built the diner would recognize but usually in the teal color on the diner I'm just going to stick these around the edge where the ball is going to sit on top like that and then we got four of these semicircle pieces quite semicircles I guess and they need to fit like that, I think. Get my bearings. 
which means only three of them we want at the moment. So we have to leave this quadrant exposed. Oh, and then there's <laughs> the next step is just to cover that up. This is just to show you how to connect it so you don't connect it incorrectly. And we've got a transparent 2x2 two two round which will stick in the middle. The ball's going to sit on top. And then you've got a couple of 1x1 one one round tiles. It's just stick in each quadrant. Like so. Now we're building the ball. So 2x2 two two with a 2x4 stuck on top. Into these bracket pieces, as you normally find on a car. One by two transparent red. Put in that area. Now we're gonna grab the light, we'll pull out the battery connector. So you can see we've got some hello Valentine, welcome to the uh, to the stream, hope you're well. And then we're going to stick this light brick onto the ball and a transparent one by two, the red piece on top. And a bracket piece on the front and a solid red two by two here. That's what we're kind of looking at at the moment. So it looks like this. And of all things, a random lime green piece, which I guess you might be able to see in a minute. And then two transparent red wedge pieces sticking up. So far, so good. Put that to the side, and then we're going to build up the side of the ball, I think. So one by four in red, the one by one on the end. And another one. One by two transparent in the middle. And then an Erling brick in red at the front. A couple of gold pieces on top of the one by two. A couple of these curved pieces. pieces on top of the gold so that's kind of what the side looks like and then we just stick that onto the body that we've already got so it looks like that then we spin it round and we put those two transparent red ridges on uh, wedges sorry on top of the bottom again like we did on the other side and same again build the body so one by four one by one on the end another one by one by two transparent brick there it is right in front of me oh hang on I just realised there's a there is actually a pattern on the um, on the one by two transparent brick, which I did not notice. So I had the other one the wrong way around. Ugh, go back. Must be this print on it, which I didn't have on the last one. So back to this one, then an Erling at the front. Two gold pieces, one by one, plates. More curved pieces. Ugh. More transparent wedges. And we stick that to the existing body. Let's see if I've got this the right way around. This looks like the right way around. So this is kind of the body forming of the ball now. I'm good, thanks, Valentine. How are you? You having a good Sunday? So 
then the top is built out with some more plates the last one the rear's got a handle so it looks like that at the top and then we use this curved piece just to stick it on top so ball's got a bit of a hump going on curved hump there now and we've got four of these curved pieces uh, being stuck with one by one gold pieces like this so be four of these make these quick two three four and these are going to be the feet the ball's feet by the look of it on each side actually the feet going on there then we're going to do a tail which looks like a one of these can you see it? those tassel pieces and just a gold clip stick that in like that and just clip that into the handle piece like this <laughs> bit of a awkward position to put the uh, the light brick there kind of makes it look like a bum hole for the, for the ball <laughs> but I guess that's maybe that's intentional I don't know um, then you get one of these ring pieces here in this dish piece here transparent dish piece and that goes into the front piece make his chest so a little chest there for the ball to the light up uh, then we've got to do the head of the ball so the head is made up of this handle piece ball joint uh, which needs to knock over to someone and an early go on the front then the one by two it's got studs on uh, both sides and one of those curved pieces we used earlier to stick on the front so it looks like that. Then another gold clip, which is going to stick on a one by one red plate. Stick on the front like that. So we've just got some bridge pieces here, which we clip on either side the head something on the side and I have not used these already but there's some printed uh, slope pieces I haven't which has got the, uh, the bull's eyes on which I didn't realise I'll show you this now so you can see if you can see the light shining on it there's actually some printed eyes on there so, and then this I guess is gonna be have a ring on it because it's a ball that's the ball's head coming together uh, and that so yeah the ring goes on the front those are the ball and then we've got a couple of cone pieces with some gold horns that go in Pointing upwards. There's our ball head. That's quite cool. And then we just clip it into so it's on a ball joint and you can position it like that. How cool is that? Just double check. Yeah, that's the end of that one. And then you press the press the ball's bum hole. It <laughs> lights up. If you can see, so it kind of lights up which is great and now this thing goes onto this and those red dots become the hooves of the ball so let's take a quick look so you can see the ball's in position there that's it lighting up got quite a few spares on this one more than the other so that's the end of bag four time is it move on to bag five let's just, let's just 
one bag for bag five. And so in this one, we're going to start building a bridge and put some fences up. There's no mini figures in bag five. building a um, the bridge and a fence and I do believe there is a bench as well that will build out on the pavement as well so let's, we need to rotate this round for this next bit so the balls over here now and then we need a turntable piece and It's two by eight piece by look of it. So put the turntable piece there and we'll fill in that gap that we had there, that piece. And then we've got some tiles, so a one by eight and a one by three in dark bluish grey. It's the fill in edges around here. And up the top, like that. One by three, and then put five of these gold bullion. Oh no, yeah, five of these gold bullion in like most blue kind of things, which are kind of look like cobblestones when you stick them on the floor. These are going in here, leading to the bridge, because where the bridge is going to be, going across over here, I think. We've got two longer plates on that, and then a one by two, and we're going to start filling in some of this area here with these by the look of it. So goes in like that and then these just fill in this gap here so it's the entrance as you come in it's now filled in so we've got these funny looking colored pieces anymore for the one by eight and then we need six one two three four five six so these are one by three tiles these are going to form the edge this new pathway in front of the, the ball leading to the bridge and where are we about there I think like that Got these edge edge paths edged out now there's another turntable piece that we need two one by three tiles in light bridge grey and another eight brilliant in grey kind of pieces so we've got two three four five six seven and eight so start with the turntable first because that seems to be the easiest one goes in there opposite the other one so the bridge to connect and there's a tile goes in there some of these bullion bar things in Like that. We've got a bit of a cobble detectured effect here now on this path. Then we've got four one by four tiles and one yellow frog. One yellow frog 
the yellow frog goes down here by the river or the pond and these one by four white tiles going on this sort of white edged wall that we started to build a couple of bags ago like that and this is where we're going to be building now we're going to be building out this sort of fence by the look of it so we've got eight white scroll pieces three four five six seven and one more. eight and then we want three one by one white clip pieces which we've got here so we start putting the detail of the wall out here now these scroll pieces go on top and i'll show you this once we've got the pieces on so you can see the profile of it basically the scroll pieces go over where the tiles are and then the clip piece goes on the inside in between so this is what the what that wall looks like now so you can see the scroll pieces and then the clip pieces on the inside of the wall another four one by four tiles three four one by three plates in white and two one by ones one Two. So now we're going to top off the wall. And again, I'll show you this after I put these pieces on. It's a nice way to create the wall. Rather than then printing a new mould using the tile pieces and the plates. like with the top pieces put on but there is more so there's going to be five one by one pieces with a five one by one round tile stuck on top just to finish off the posts Show you this again in a second. We'll just do each one first. There you go. You see these little pieces added now to the top of the detail of the posts. And now we're going to build a little bench outside. So we get a two by four in brown, a couple of these, um, those black pieces, all like that. And then it's just a panel piece at the back. Nice simple little bench with a tile on top. See that? It's kind of a nice simple one. And it just sits there on the outside of the of the wall now. It's got this little bench. Uh, let me just stick this to the side a second because now we're going to build a bridge for the main bit. So we've got a large arch piece, four by six piece, mix it up. And then of course on the other side you've got the other arch, another arch piece. The other side of that you've got one by two plates in white. and then it wants two by four in brown in the middle there and then we've got two one by four plates and then we've got eight of these arch pieces and then 
one by four on the first one and then you put four of these stuck to each other we should do that twice so can we get this look let's do another one and then this goes underneath by the look of it into these That's nice, that's how you get the steps up the bridge. That's the bottom. And then that's the top. Put that to the side a second. And then we're gonna build two of these, which is the connection to the bridge. We take two of these pieces upside down. It's gonna to connect to the turntable piece. So just take the turntable to connect the piece in there on each one. Bottom, and then either side we put a bracket underneath like that. Same with this one. Two. Then we've got a one by four, which goes on as a plate, and then a white bracket piece at the end of each. Oh, nearly each of that so it kind of looks like that and we'll do the same again here and another bracket piece like that that's that one then on top of that you've got one by six on each of those to make sure that doesn't fall off and Then you put a white earling, this is an earling bit, on top. Right, so you've got this kind of look going. And then the front of that has a curved, one of these sort of standard curved pieces in front. Make it look like a pillar. The same on this one. A nice little construction like that, and then it's the same. You connect that to each of these. Make sure that connects in. Looks like the uh, the arch pieces do need to be pushed in firmly. So we kind of bridge is looking like that. You can see it's not quite completed yet, but it's looking like a bridge, that's for sure. Then we need four wedge pieces, two, three, four, give us a bit more slope on the pillars going up. Like that, get that curvature going, and then in the middle of the bridge, there are two white brackets that come down. Like that, and they're covered up by these arch or slope pieces to help form a pieces. Until we've got more missing pieces. Oh, so if I have it's in the bag. Panic over, one more curved piece there. Yeah. That's a cool bridge. Still not finished yet though, more detail to be added. So then, because we've got these studs on the side, we're adding these curved tiles. So it's going to be more of a notion that it's a bridge. Do that on the other side. Then with these studs that are still exposed on the top, we're gonna to put a one by one round 
started on top and then we've got these ball pieces here that go on top of those add some decoration to the bridge these are spare pieces so just put them to the side how cool is that that's the, the mini bridge construction so if we bring back the main model then this needs to stick like that see that there's the bridge how cool is that of all angles great detail I think we've got enough time to get to bag six for today, and this may be our last bag of the day. This one looks like it's got another minifigure, um, but there's a lot more detail on hanging lamps and lanterns. I'm starting to put some foliage in as well, some bamboos and things. That's Lots of green and red. So let's find our mini pig first. Looks like a little boy this time. Oh, he's got a scarf on. Make sure he stays warm. And he's here and he's little green legs and he is holding his own lantern a nice little prints on these red lanterns as well by the look of it with a bit of a ball on there, so hang on. Just make sure he's ready to go. So that's that's the little boy holding the the ball lantern, which is in bag six. Let's put him to the side. And now we need to build these little uh, things in the river. So we need a couple of green radar pieces for these egg pieces, which I've probably not used since Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park build and see these orange pieces. Just kind of sticking these together. So these are like I'm guessing these are land lanterns that you stick in the river to light the river up for the festival. And we need a couple of green leaf pieces as well which need to go on over this side. But over on here is where those little transparent plugs come in. So we stick those in there so that's fine. Those little lantern things. Six of these dark tan circle with studs on. And we need two flower shoots. The flower shoots are going to go into these leaves we just stuck in. Like that. And then over on this side, we're going to stick these one by one round. So these two by two rounds with studs on top in which I'm guessing maybe gonna have stuff stuck in them. But we shall see. Right, 
and we get to build these the bamboo looking trees out of these candle pieces they make a lot of make a lot of use of these candle pieces since they've come out some of them are really genius some of the ideas that they come up with for using these but then a, a ball piece goes ball joint piece goes in the bottom with a cone on top and then a black rod goes in the top of the cone One green one by one into it like that. And one of these traditional look oh, falls apart in my hand now. Oh. Too hard there. Uh, so that piece goes in there and then another leaf piece goes on top so I comb, followed by another line piece followed by two plant pieces which go on top of each other like that We've got this like, bamboo piece, but there's more. We've got a flower piece, plant piece, and a shoot piece. We've got that three times. get stuck randomly on the top of this how unusual is that and that one sticks over you can see it into this ball joint that was uh, done earlier so there's the first piece of foliage and we'll do another one which is three candlesticks tall this time kind of a microphone really isn't it microphone piece or a ball joint piece the black stick goes in top Green one by one, upside down in there. One of those and a leaf. Followed by the cone. Followed by another line. One by one upside down. Followed by two more flower pieces, which you can't see. Here they are. in there Get this look going on at the moment and then again we need another three flower pieces going in like that with a stem going in the top taller one this time which yet yeah, goes into the same ball joint so we've got this kind of oh, bamboo -y kind of trees going up here and 
couple of these lime green pieces with some shoots going in the top. I think that's it for this one. Just to fill in some gaps. There's some foliage around the, the river, so these have just gone underneath the tree. And slightly smaller plant this time. It's going to go into one of those areas we've already put in. So these. Two and topped off with a leaf. So it's a slightly smaller one this time, and it just sticks in in the front. Three of them. Two, three. two smaller pieces which are just one candlestick high so these will fill in the gaps There, so over in this corner now, got quite a, quite a bit of foliage going on there. You can see all these bamboo type things going on there. So that's that corner. And we've got about 10 minutes left till we'll stop the stream. So we've got time to build some uh, lanterns here. These transparent pieces. So. Two of those holders and then put the lamp into these gold clips and let's just stick them. Built to these type of lanterns, and these go on to light the path up. Not the side of the bridge, like that. Do you see them there? And then we've got. Large poles going in here. So, first one is going to go into there, and second one. Got two poles here now, which I'm guessing is where the lanterns are going to be draped across onto the rope. Looks 
sidekick. So I've got one of these string pieces here, and now we need to connect all of the lamps, lanterns that um, will be used on here. So four small ones, one. Three, four of those, three of these large ones, which are kind of like pumpkin pieces with some gold, gonna have gold tassels on, but I have a gold grip on top. I'll just do three of these. That. So then we get the black cord and then we need to stick on to the small one. Large one. And then I have forgot to stick on a couple of these transparent ones with the ball uh, print on. Small one. One small one, transparent one, large one, and small one. So We've got this going on here, and then these connect into these poles or rods that we've already installed, and they hang down like that. Kind of touching the ball. I'm not sure if they're supposed to be touching the ball quite as much as that, but. about right to me and then on top of here put a couple of these uh, sort of like lollipop stick kind of things and we've got some printed tiles here as you can see just about maybe a couple of clips Three more smaller lamps which go across this wall here. So let's just get these ones done. Then we've got the, uh, the old roller, paint roller that goes in top of each of these rods. And then we want this large lantern. Put some gold one by one round in the middle with a clip in the bottom, back and clip gold at the top. Three of these. Each of these lanterns gets clipped, clipped to the rod, and then get stuck in the wall. I'll show you this in a second. On the camera, so you can see it. So we've got it clipped on. It's 
just like that. Let's straighten it up a bit. I'm just a little bit wonky, but you get the gist of it. So you've got the lamps at the back hanging now, and then you've got these lanterns at the front hanging. And then on these front lanterns is where we start using some of these um, stickers or rubbery pieces, I don't know what the word are for it. And we need only this one, kind of like a rubbery texture. into the clips which we hung from the we stuck in the, the lantern. It's easier just to take the lantern off and so put that one on and then we'll put the other two on. hanging from this front lantern here and one more these are the only there's no stickers in this set so these are just the only things that you have to attach here on the front as you can see so those are all in place and I think that's it for bag six we've got a fair few spares so I think we'll probably leave it um, here for today since it's 4 30 now so that's the end of the stream so we're gonna start I'll put another um, live stream up for bag seven onwards so we can finish off this set next week or during the week keep an eye out for when I put it up on the on the channel and you can see this is where we've got to so far. So we've got the, the ball over here, got a nice bridge, nice stream built up and some of the foliage going on around here as well as the lanterns that we just built now. So it's looking like a really good set. Um, really enjoying it so far, hope you are as well. And uh, let me just take you back to the main screen. I'll show you it to you again on the main screen here. Kind of looks lots of vibrant red, green colors going on. Um, and so, Hope you enjoyed that uh, first part. We've been up to bag seven. Uh, I think there's about, was it 12 bags I said at the start? Something like that. So we're just over halfway or about halfway through it. Uh, and we'll do another stream next week just to uh, pick it up. So check that out. Also do check out the um, Empire State Building review we've done on here, which you may uh, was this week's episode. Uh, and also any previous streams we've done. We've recently just gone through all the Harry Potter streams. Um, and look out for future streams where we're doing the Nintendo Entertainment System in a couple of weeks and the boat in a bottle set as well live builds so check those out as well when they're live on the channel and if you haven't done hit like if you enjoyed this uh, stream today and also hit subscribe with the bell notification on to be notified of those future streams that we'll be doing on this channel uh, have a great sunday and if you're in the uk uh, make sure that you're spoiling your mum as it's mother's day and reach out and get in contact and until then i'll see you next time on this next live stream so have a great weekend see ya